Today's question, what do the students on the campus of UW-Madison think about the deep questions of life? Hey guys, what's up? My name is Willie and I am dedicated to helping people build a reasonable worldview one question at a time. So let's hit the street here and talk to some of these co-eds and ask them what they think about how we got here and what's the meaning of life and all that good stuff. You guys ever think about the deep questions of life? <laughs> Not right now. Not right now. I don't know. Wait till tomorrow. Yeah. Which is the one that you think about the most? What makes you happy? What makes you happy? Yeah. What makes you happy? A lot of different things. Friends, family. So I run a website called Ready Set Question. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Go for it. All right. What's your name? Tall. Tall. How do you spell that? T A L. That's cool. Where's that from? Uh, Israel. Oh, yeah. welcome. Shalom. 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 So what makes you happy? Ah, friends, man. family, relationships. Yeah. And why do you think about that deep question a lot? Ah, because it's something that's very important in today's age with all the like, personal stress that people have, especially on school and like mental health things. Uh, I've dealt with mental health before, so like, it's just very prominent in my life. One of my friends deal with it, so I'm actually taking a couple of classes right now about like, consumer behavior and welfare and stuff like that. So. It's definitely something I'm trying to implement in my future, and it's something I think that everyone should be aware of. So what do you think makes you most happy outside of relationships? Outside of relationships? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, I'd say hobbies, doing things you love. I love playing sports, soccer, things like that. What about cool haircuts? Uh, occasionally. My, my hair is pretty bad today. I woke up on the wrong side of that. I like your haircut. Though. I feel like we're haircut twins. I, I like. I, I can see if I was a little shorter. I like yours yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. Is yours shorter or mine shorter? No, no, mine's shorter. Oh, okay. I mean, yours is shorter. Mine's longer. Yeah. Mine's just, mine just a little short. At the same time. Yeah. <laughs> this is good. Yeah. yeah. I like it. <laughs> your name is tall, but I'm tall. Yeah, you're taller than me. I get that too often. Man. I get that too often. Oh, uh, sorry. My name's Willie, so people have a lot of Willie jokes. Okay, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, what's another deep question you think about? Uh, the time I had, I can't think of another one. You have one for me? Yeah. Like, um, how did we get here? That's, that's planet Earth. Planet Earth. Okay. Well, that's a that's a hot topic. Honestly, it depends what you're looking at, it religiously or uh, scientifically. My I, my background, I was raised religiously. I believe in those like values and like, lessons they're trying to teach. But uh, science, you know, Big Bang, all that stuff. All right. So you you were you raised Jewish? Jewish. Yeah. Jewish. Jewish. Okay. Cool. So then, uh, what would be kind of like uh, the Jewish? answer to the meaning of life. The meaning of life was uh, that God created life and uh, he put us on this earth to kind of resemble him and kind of enact on him and he let us be here to take advantage of his like, creations and uh, the gift of life. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. But what's wrong with the world? Like, uh, There's a lot of problems right now. I wouldn't say wrong, I just there's a lot of conflicts and people aren't seeing eye to eye. There's a lot of separation, there's a big gap between the disparities of income and also social status and how people are being treated, especially in America. I mean, we're not really as influenced, but like it's going on all across Asia and all that stuff. So I guess just being more aware of that stuff is very important. And the more aware we can make people, the more change we can affect in the world. Mitigate suffering. Exactly. Okay. So, here, you ready for the big question? <laughs> I've been waiting. What happens when we die? Alright, awesome. Uh, <laughs> honestly, I don't have an answer for you. I'm, I'm going to live my life and enjoy my life while I'm here yep. on Earth. And uh, I'll get to that part oh, when I deal with it. Wow. So then, when it comes to your upbringing, what would they say? Um, honestly, I don't think that they believe in an afterlife. But I think that once you die, you're, uh, you're buried and your body returns back to Earth. I mean, back to God and back to the Earth and the soils, and then your spirit is released into the heavens. But in the heavens, in terms of just being a God, I don't think you're actually active. You're mentally active. So I think it's just love. Once you're done, you're done, and uh, the spirit of yourself, not your mental spirit or your active spirit, has gone up to like heaven or God, if you believe in that religious stuff, and your body is supposed to be gone back to the Earth to bring new life. So your body dies and your soul lives your, on? Your body, like, I guess, degrades to the earth and, and goes back to other life, and your soul lives on, but not through yourself, through God, through God. Okay. All right, got one more for you. So we live in like a you-do-you you kind of culture. Yes. All right, so what's up with, with truth? Does truth exist? Can it even be known? Yes, truth exists. Factual truth exists. Opinionated truths are very hard to come by these days just because it's so polarized nowadays, but if you're looking at strictly just facts, I know there's been a lot of fake facts out there now and all that stuff, but 
if you look hard enough and you look at both sides of everything, you can find the right truth. Nice. I like that. You like my shirt? I do. I love that, actually. Can I be like? Let's do it. Oh, thank you, brother. Well, well nice meeting you, Willie. Nice meeting you. Let me give you my card. Oh, perfect. All right, so this is a pop quiz for you. What happens next? But you already answered it. I answered it. That's great. Awesome. All right, so check out the website. You can contact me, and then you'll see the video. Awesome. Well, yeah. Cool, man. Thanks. Much love. Have a good day. You too. Pretty cool. I've got a hair toy. Are you talking to me? Them? But you're supposed to stay for a spot. She's not talking. But I have my Do Sydney and Kayla have one too? I like it. So here we are on campus. We're asking deep questions. Do you girls ever think about the deep questions of life? Sometimes. You do? Yeah. Like, what's, what's one that you think of on a regular basis? Um, where do we go when we die? Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. My name's Willie. Really, I'm actually doing a, a channel called Ready, Set, Question. So can I ask you some okay. quick questions? Sure. sure. All right, awesome. All right, so first question, what's your name? Aubrey. Aubrey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Riley. Great, so you were saying you think about a deep question, and what is it? Uh, where we go when we die, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, what happens <laughs> What happens when we go? Like the age yeah. old question, we're going to die. Question. Like where, yeah. where do we go from there? What, what are, yeah, what's life after? Mm -hmm. So can you tell me? I could, I wish I could. I wish mm -hmm. I could, I don't know. What's your gut feeling? My gut feeling is we just drift off and let our memories yeah. remain. You know? Where? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> hey, you brought up this question. I think Riley brought up this question. <laughs> yeah. All right. So what happens? Um, maybe heaven. I I really don't know. Maybe I think just drifting off into blackness. Probably. Yeah. I just picture like a dark. Yeah. Everything's just dark. <laughs> well, that sounds more like hell. <laughs> yeah, but maybe, but maybe like a positive way. Uh, yeah. Hell in a positive way. I like yeah. that. I've always heard hell in a handbasket. I want right? to be introduced. Okay, cool. Yeah. Hi. Okay. Hey there, what's your name? I'm Lexi. Okay, Lexi, so the camera's over here. Are you girls leaving? Yeah, I'm going to Bye. I thought they were going to stay, but I'm here with Lexi. Um, so <laughs> they they said, what happens when we die? So When we die? Yeah, that's what, that's, that's what they asked. But who dies? I guess, I guess them. When we die, everyone gets really sad. <laughs> Because everyone needs me in their life. I'm a big part of this campus. Um, everyone needs me here. Like, there's no party without me. I make the world go better. Like, I'm a great, I'm a great person. Did your mom tell you to say that? Yeah, she did. Okay. <laughs> I figured. So, so what's a deep question that you think about? A deep question? Yeah, because they they brought. I'm that... not really a deep thinker. I'm very surface level. Yeah. Why is that? <laughs> is there something you're trying to hide? No. Bye! Oh, okay. Thanks here. for the interview. Yeah, here, let me give you my card. This is a... Oh, thanks. Bye, Wyatt. Later, Wyatt. What do you think the deep questions are, man? You don't think about them? What if the ice is too slushy? What is this for? It's uh, the deep questions of life. Yes, I, I'm What's so... What's your name? Down. My name is Lauren. Lauren, my name is Willie. High five. Boom. So, what are the deep questions of life? Um, like... You want me to come up with them? Well, what do you think about the most? Um, I think about, um, I think about politics, my family, um, why I'm here. Like the meaning of life? Sure. What is the meaning of life? Um, well, I actually was, like, looking at nihilism the other night, and it's basically, like, the, uh, the belief that there's no, like, purpose for life, but I feel like we're all here and it's up to us like to make our own purpose in life. So that's just what I'm doing. <laughs> so you're not a nihilist anymore? I was never a nihilist, no, but I thought it was an interesting concept. So what do you think is your meaning of life then, if you get to make it up, right? Um, I think my meaning of life is to try and do as much as I can to be happy while considering other people's feelings. But what if what you're doing is making you happy and it makes me super sad? Exactly. So I would, I think it's important to consider other people's feelings, but also in some ways you have to be selfish. Is that good or bad? To be selfish. Um, it's important to put yourself first in the most in the most like healthy ways, but I don't. I, I think the word selfish has more like negative context to it. Why is that? Um, I don't know. 
<laughs> it, just, it just kind of feels negative, doesn't it? Yeah, like people it does. being selfish. Yeah. All right, so we like to talk about the deep questions. The the name of my website is Ready Set Questions. Is this your friend? <laughs> yeah. You want to come over and talk about deep questions too? I don't. I don't know if I have any deep questions. Well, what's your name? I'm Sam. All right, Sam. So, like, what's something that gives you the most anxiety ever in life? Ooh, we have a lot of anxiety. <laughs> um, um, failing. Failing a test. Failing a test, or like letting someone down. Ah. Like when you're being selfish, letting people down. Yeah, in some ways. Okay, and so why is it good or bad to let people down? It makes me sad. <laughs> I like making people happy. Is that the meaning of life? Making people happy? Um, no, I think it's whatever brings you joy while, like, and as long as that's like a healthy and productive way, like, you know, like, um, like not putting other people's like feelings in consideration, but also like leading your own like life. Like if, let's say if I wanted to punch Sam in the face and that would make me happy, like I wouldn't do it, but. But if it makes you happy though, you probably should. No, because I want to consider other people's feelings. Well, what if it makes Sam happy? To punch her in the face? ahead. I'll do uh, it. It's starting start to break down the whole making happy people happy. <laughs> That's my friend. Hey, friend. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. All right, so you want to talk about another deep question. Yeah. So the girls right before you, they said, what happens when we die? Okay, <clears throat> um, well, I don't know. What do you think? Well, if you looked into nihilism, <laughs> I'm not saying you're a nihilist, but... No, I'm not. No, I'm... No. Stop. Not at all. Collaborate and listen. <laughs> no, I, I said, because in one of my like ideology classes, we had to learn about that. That's okay. what I meant. I was just reading about it. I thought it was interesting. So you're absolutely not an island. No. Okay, so then what is your <laughs> gut feeling? Like, what happens when, when you die, you take your last breath, boom, what happens? Um, I think I'm gone. Peace. Goodbye. See you later. See you never. Well, that's pretty nihilistic. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, what else would happen? I'm not here anymore. I have no idea what's going to happen to me. Well, do you think people have other ideas? Like, what do you think, Sam? I think, that, I think you just go into, like, a sleep. You can sleep. You never wake up. So, you're, so basically... Getting what you're interviewed. Saying, yeah, you girls want to get interviewed, too? Uh, why? Deep yeah. questions of life. I'm good. Yeah. Thank you. Maybe later. Hi, how are you? <laughs> so, deep sleep, right? Just kind of... You, your body dies, you just like, that's it? You just, you don't know that you die, you're just, you're just dead. Do you think people go to heaven? Um, personally, no, but I believe everyone has like their own like truth, and if that makes someone feel more secure in life, then I'm not gonna tell them they're wrong, because I don't know what I'm talking about either. Maybe there is. <laughs> well, what, what would make you think something is true? Um, Seeing it firsthand. Seeing it firsthand. So, like evidence, yeah. and and like reason and logic and things like that. Uh, sure. Yeah. So, so basically, you only think things are true unless you can observe it or test it or replicate it. Like, have reasons to believe something to be true. Um, I think that's a pretty like narrow way to to say it. But in that, for like that example, yeah. Okay. So then, like for example, we know that the sky is cloudy right now because we can do what? We can look at it. And it's cloudy. It is. Right. I'd rather have it be blue than sunny. I agree. Right. I love sunny days. How about you, Sam? I like it sunny. So do I. <laughs> Especially around this time of year. Okay, Wait, so then. What is this for? Am I gonna. It's ready, set, question. What? Ready, set, question. What is that? Can I search it? It's my card. Yeah, check it out. Here's. That's the question. Let's see. Ready, set, question. Do you need my signature to have my face? All you gotta do is say yes, that can be in my video. Um, I'm not sure. You're not sure? Yeah. Okay, no problem. Well, let's see what this is for. Yeah. Who knows, maybe I'm gonna it's... be president of the United States of America. I don't want to be embarrassed. Uh, oh, that's fine. We're just talking about deep questions. And I don't embarrass anybody. <laughs> I'm so So it's readysetquestion.com. All you're gonna do is see a guy, <laughs> a guy that looks like me uh, on the front cover. And it's gonna have you read through what I do. I ask people deep questions of life. Do you know why I do? No. Because I believe that there is a heaven. I do believe that people die and go to heaven. 
but I have reasons to understand why. Why well, I'm so interested. Do you want to talk about it? Yeah, I'm interested. <clears throat> cool. So if you go to this. Oh my god, are you Christian? That's what I just said. That's yeah. so great. Yeah. Hi. Hey. So that's when you said you're a nihilist. I was like, oh, that's. Nice. No, I'm not okay. a nihilist. I know, I know, I know. Don't worry. <laughs> so do you want to hear some reasons why I believe that uh, heaven is true? Um, in one sentence, because I have to do work. Okay. Because of Jewish archaeology, mm -hmm. eyewitness testimony, like these guys said things that were so embarrassing about themselves. They like lied about Jesus, they like betrayed him. They even said women found him like, resurrected. Like back in the olden days, like women were not respected 2,000 years ago. So these guys weren't trying to make up a story. Right? Then there's stories from outside the Bible, like historians that wrote about names, dates, places, and they were like Christian haters. But even if you hate a Christian, but you're like verifying all the names, the dates, and the places, that kind of confirms the story. Then another cool thing is like fulfilled prophecies, right? So like there were prophets that said things about this guy that was going to come. And then Jesus of Nazareth fulfilled over 300 of his old school prophecies. And then here's the craziest one, all right? So the Bible is like an old book of fairy tale that's been copied and copied and copied in so many different languages. So how do we know we even have like the right book, right? Well, in the 1940s, there was a Bedouin goat herder over in the caves of Qumran, which is like right next to the Dead Sea. And he threw a rock into the cave to try to scare one of his goats out. And he heard broken pottery. And guess what he found inside? The oh, yeah, Dead Sea Scrolls. Have you guys heard about these things? It was the Bible, and it was a copy of the Bible that was over 200 years yeah. older than Jesus Christ. I and feel like if same. that gives your life meaning, even though I don't believe in it at all, then that's then that's beautiful. So. Right, but the thing about it is, like, the sky is gray. Yeah. That's true. Mm -hmm. There's evidence that the sky is gray. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to this kind of stuff, are you going to look at something that kind of feels good or are you going to look at something where there's actually evidence? Um, I'm just going to go where my heart goes and I hope you go to heaven. I hope you go to heaven too. Thank you. Alright, what do you think? Oh, I think... Yeah. Is yeah. evidence more logical or is it just feelings are more logical? Yeah, yeah. I, I think evidence, you know. It's a mixture of both. But I, what if you feel really bad about the evidence, but the evidence really points to the truth? Like, I feel bad about it having a gray sky. Like, I don't like that, but the evidence really tells me that it's a gray sky. Yeah, the sky is gray, guys. You heard it, you heard it here first. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying, like, what if, what if it is actually true? What if the Bible is true? Maybe it is. That's what I'm saying. What yeah. about the evidence? Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe okay. Alright, thank you, ladies. Bye, have a great day. I appreciate day. it. Well, fun day here at Madison, University of Wisconsin, Madison. We're having a good time talking to people about feelings and evidence and blue sky versus gray sky and what is going to happen when we're dead. So, interesting. Of course. Of course. So, my name is Julie and I'm Yeah. How deep? Well, how deep do you want to go? What can I first ask you? What your name is? Bella. Bella. I'm Willie. Nice to meet you. Willie. Nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah. What's your name? Emma. Emma. I'm Willie. Nice to meet you. So, what are the deepest questions that you think about on a regular basis? The deep that I think of? Yeah. Um, maybe questions about my family. Like, like, you're, like <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> like, wait. Okay. Deep questions. Like, um, oh, like, what do your siblings do for a living? Oh, that's super deep. Well, like, I, it's not deep, but like, do you want me? I don't want to add, like answer really deep questions. Like, that's kind of scary. You don't want to answer really deep ones. So, like, what is a really deep one that you don't want to answer? Like, what is your deepest fear? Oh. And why? Okay. So why? you don't you don't have to answer that because you don't want to. Facts. Okay. All right. So, what do you think is a deep question? Yeah, you're right. I don't know, like. Um, All right, that's a deep question. That is, that is touchy. Right. Do gays not have rights? Gays don't. They should. They have rights. They they do. I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah, no, yeah, I agree. I'm pretty sure yeah. they have rights. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, what's your deep question? I don't know. Like sometimes, like I wonder, like how Earth is here. Like I feel like that's kind of a deep question. Is that not? Ooh. How did the Earth, Earth like, form? Yeah. Like how did it get here? Kind of that's like philosophy. Because like that could be like a spiritual or like a scientific thing. And then kind of like how did 
the humans get here. Right, too. right, I feel like. Like, is there like a purpose for us? Like, I feel like that could be a deep question. Wait, so you're saying agree. like the origin of Earth and humans is linked to our purpose? Yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like... Holy moly, she's blowing <laughs> my mind! <laughs> I don't know. That is... A, no, no like, I actually like... That's a good like, one. Better than my like question. sometimes like, like, what's our purpose? Like, I don't know. Like, what's the meaning of life? Yeah, like, kind of. What, if that makes what, sense. Can you tell me? I don't, I don't know. That's like what I'm wondering. <laughs> So what have you been doing so far? Going to school to get a job, to make money, to live, to survive. I feel like that's kind of like the purpose. I don't to build know. the future. To build the future. I don't know. What'd you say? <laughs> to build the future. <laughs> Alright. For yourself, for your family, like for your future family that we don't know about yet because right, we are too young. All right. And what are they gonna do for a living? We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. I wish See, I was a mind like, reader. It's kind of interesting. Like you don't know. You have, you know. You have no idea. I have no yeah. idea. No. Do you know? <clears throat> do I know what I do for a living? Uh, no. I do totally. Do <laughs> no. <laughs> the deep question that we just okay. aren't answering. Okay. So, all right. Um, how did we get here? I mean, there's really only two options, right? See, I don't know. That's such a deep question. Um, I don't even know. God. God. Yeah. So, like, that's the supernatural answer. Well, I would say more spiritual than supernatural, okay. but yeah. All right. Then, what would be the the second? Answer. It was like a scientific thing, I feel like. Like, like an asteroid like created Earth. But like I don't know how humans would have gotten here then. Yeah. Or animals or like It's like something trees, or like, like something that you just can't explain it like happened but like we don't know how. Well what do you think the evidence points to? Um, personally, I mean I am faithful so I would say God because but that's something that you can't explain because that's just like it is what it is kind of thing. Okay, how about you? I would probably say God too, but I know there are other people who probably don't believe in God and think it's more of like a scientific Yeah, totally. Asteroid thing. <laughs> like Yeah. Like I think it just depends on the person you talk to and then their own beliefs and then like what they think. You know? So let's say I didn't think that it was God and you did. Yeah. Um so could we both be true? Did you mm, no. So one has to be right and one has to be wrong. Correct, but I feel like we would never know which one is right and which one is wrong <laughs> because we all have different beliefs. So we're not going to just be like, oh, well, I believe this, but like you're right. Like that's just not a thing people say, I feel like. Okay, but you said something about science. So can't we just observe, test, replicate, and verify it scientifically and then we can just be like sure? Well, like I feel like there is some scientific evidence, but I feel like also there's some stuff that like cannot be explained. Correct. Like they say that like Earth like formed because of an asteroid, but like I feel like. It just would have exploded. Right, that's yeah. why I don't know. Like, I'm sure some scientific evidence is true, but like, I don't know. Kind of yeah. like a difficult question. So, you believe in God. Correct. So, do you think some of the deep questions of life can be answered through that kind of lens? Like, what, like we talked about what's the meaning of life, right? <laughs> right. What, what, well, no, I, I totally think, I think that a lot of things can be explained through faith, but I think it's very, like, personal to each person, so I feel like it's a very controversial topic. Oh, it's actually controversial, totally. But, but what if there's some truth in one of the claims? Do you mean about God? Or, well, well, I'm just or saying... in like, the scientific aspect? Either or. So, like, for example, if something's con... Uh, Controversial. That's right. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> if something's controversial, but one person is saying something that's false, oh, right. one person is saying something that's true, would it be wrong to say, hey, listen, maybe we should talk about evidence? That wouldn't be wrong because I feel like evidence can prove things and then like you can open someone else's eyes to like think in a different manner. And then maybe they could be more open to like what you believe because there's evidence behind it. What do you think? I don't know, I probably agree with her. Like, I feel like there's probably evidence though for both right. sides, I feel like. So I don't know if like one is right and one is wrong. Yeah. I don't know, are they both could be right? I don't know. Well, I feel like if you believe in something so strongly, regardless of anything, like you're gonna find evidence because it, it, like if that's the only way that your mind works, like you're gonna find things to be like, oh, this is why this is right. Like, just because right, your brain works like that. Right, and this is like why that. your point is wrong. Yes. Like, yeah. Exactly, that's what I mean. Right, so basically what you're saying is that there's a lot of bias. So if somebody's yes. trying to like, make their point known, they're going to give you all the stuff that's, that's you know, really in favor of theirs. Like flat earthers, for example. They'll like put a, no. a cup on a table and be like, look, it's flat. Probably, like I feel like you can find any evidence to prove that you're right and they're wrong. Right, and then if you have 
that much like influence or like if the way that you present it is really believable, mm -hmm. then I feel like then you have a better chance of making people think what you think. Okay, so give me the best evidence for like God. Well, personally, I just, I've grown up in a very, like, faithful household, so that's what's been implanted, like, in my brain, and by, like, studying, like, faith and, like, like the Bible and stuff, everything that we learn is, like, okay, like, like, the Holy Trinity, and, like, we were put on this earth because of, like, Bible stories, like, way back when, and stuff like that that just makes sense in my head now, and I know it's something that I just shouldn't even question because, like, that's what I believe, and, like, if you really take the time to think about it, some answers just... There's some questions just can't be answered, so I just like kind of let that sit and believe what I believe and just know like that it's true to like the extent I know. Okay, and what would you say about that? I would probably say the Bible too with the evidence, like it's just something like you learn in church. Yeah. And that's just like instilled in your brain over and over again. So I feel like that's like my evidence for it. Yeah. Okay, so let me recap real quick. So the meaning of life, right? Why we're here <laughs> and how we got here, like the earth and humans and all this good stuff is because of what you've learned in the Bible about like a creator God. Correct. Right? But isn't that kind of seem like believing in a fairy tale that can't really be kind of based in evidence? No, I don't think so because we have, we do have the whole Bible, which is evidence itself. And I feel like then you can just kind of branch off of that and then you can make your own beliefs based on the Bible and like everything to me at least everything just makes sense like when we talk about this and like you learn things in the Bible like it just it just makes sense to me so then I'm like okay well why would I question this if I don't know anything else like I'm not gonna just change my beliefs just because like I just want to like you know I just feel like it's very believable so yeah. all right how about you I'd probably agree like it's just like something that's also been instilled and it's just like you believe because that's just what's been instilled in me. I don't know, like it's like hard to explain. Like I yeah. feel like, like I know there's probably evidence for science, which there is evidence for science. Like I feel like I learned about it in school, but it's like, it doesn't explain like why there are humans and like, yeah. to me it just like doesn't make sense. If, like, so what if somebody doesn't believe in the Bible? What's the best evidence to show them that the Bible is actually authentic? Um, I feel like you can just like date, I feel like research is a big thing, like you can just date back, even if it's not you reading the Bible, you can just date back, like researching online and saying like, well, how can this even be possible, um, through like a faithful lens, I guess you could say, and then I feel like then you can look up a lot of evidence well, that there would be, that like, maybe it's not in the Bible, maybe it is, but just like online evidence from different sources that like, make it realistic and make it make sense to people. And you're gonna say I probably agree with her. Yeah, like I feel like there's probably a lot more evidence maybe in like other countries where like Jesus was like be, you know born and stuff. So I feel like looking up on the internet and just like trying to find evidence that backs you up is probably possible, especially now with like all the the internet we have. Yeah. So I feel like there's a lot out there that would back up our points about like God creating Earth. Yeah. Can I give you some evidence that will help you like remember really easily? Yeah. Okay, so like Jesus is obviously the center figure in the Bible. He's right. the most important. So when it comes to evidence, we can remember um, the evidence based on his name. So there's an acronym. So J starts with Jewish archaeology. See, when you flip through the Bible and you look at all of the names, the dates, the places, like all the cities, all the wars that were fought, all those actually exist in the real world. Like you can go to Google Maps and you can look it up. You want to know where somebody was buried? You can actually find their burial site on Google Maps. Right. And if you're really rich, you can fly a plane over there and look it up. <laughs> the second thing, right, the second letter in Jesus is E. So eyewitness testimony. Right? Eyewitness testimony is so embarrassing when it comes to what the disciples wrote about themselves. Like these guys, they failed Jesus, they betrayed Jesus, they even like didn't even see Jesus first when he was resurrected. It was like women who saw. Mm -hmm. And I love women and everybody loves women, but like in 2000 years ago, Middle East, women were not respected. They couldn't yeah. even like vote or like be a, a speaker in court. And so like the Bible was written in an eyewitness kind of embarrassing way that nobody who was trying to make up a myth or a legend or a hero story would have written that kind of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then, excuse me. Then the third thing is stories from outside the Bible. So you have all these historians who hated Christians that wrote about them, who verified the names, the dates, the places. And even though they hated Christians, what were they doing? They were authenticating the stories. Right. Right? And we then you have the umbrella of truth, which is the you in Jesus, and those are the prophecies. You know that there was over 300 prophecies that Jesus fulfilled. 
Like, yeah. you can't pick to be born in Bethlehem. You right. can't. Yeah. And you know that Jesus said that he was the bread of life? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, guess what Bethlehem means in Hebrew? It means house of bread. Isn't that crazy? Oh, yeah. Like, I didn't know that. So know awesome. That. That's very cool. Right. And then the last one is S again. And I call it the Super Scrolls. And the Super Scrolls, I basically kind of call the Dead Sea Scrolls. Right? So the Bible's been translated a million times in a million different languages. Copies of copies of copies. We don't even have the originals. So how do we know that the Bible's authentic? Well, guess what? In the 1940s, a goat herder was like trying to get a goat out of a cave, threw a rock in there, heard broken pottery, and we found the Dead Sea Scrolls. They were buried 300 years before Christ was born. And it's the exact same Bible we have today, except it's not in English. Yeah. Oh. Pretty crazy. That's insane. So Jesus, right? Wow. Jewish archaeology, eyewitness testimony, stories from outside the Bible, the umbrella of truth, and then the super scrolls. So now when you have somebody who you don't know if they're an atheist or a Christian comes up to you and asks you questions, you now you're like, oh, I have you evidence. You do have evidence. Yeah. Not just based on your own beliefs are based on I've been like actual right. oh. So thank you so much. Well thank yeah. you. Yeah. Let me give you thank a you. card. Alright? We're good? We are cool. good. Wow.